Key Boy with your first alert storm team forecast. Good afternoon, Gulf Coast. We continue to track IOTA. It's now moving across the mountains in Central America. It made landfall last night as a Category 4 hurricane in Nicaragua, and it continues to move to the west. It's a tropical storm now, but that doesn't mean the impacts have it lessened. As it's moving over the mountains of Central America, it is producing catastrophic flooding, and we're likely going to see more mudslides as well. And what makes this even more catastrophic than what you would normally associate with a catastrophic storm itself is that two weeks ago, Hurricane Ada, which was also a Category 4 hurricane, made landfall within 15 miles of where Iota made landfall, and they're more or less moving over the same regions. So you're talking about spots that are farther inland that picked up 30 inches of rain with Ada, and they could pick up an additional 30 inches of rain with Iota, not to mention all the coastal impacts, so significant and just catastrophic impacts for parts of Central America. Heart really goes out to them because that is just a worst case scenario with IOTA. It's going to be moving farther west and will eventually fade away. It's not going to be moving back into open waters. Elsewhere in the tropics, we are watching an area in the southwestern Caribbean where we could see some development later this week. But the National Hurricane Center has actually dropped the percentage of this happening. Earlier today, we were talking about a 40% chance or a medium chance of seeing development later this week. Now, a 30% chance of seeing development. So hopefully that trend continues to get lower and lower. Overall, though, there are no foreseeable tropical threats to the United States. We'll just continue to watch that and keep you posted. At home, our weather, I don't know if it really gets much better. If you head outside at any point today, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, you're just going to be greeted with a lot of sunshine across the southeast on the satellite and radar. Not a cloud in the sky. There is a cold front approaching from the north. That cold front's not going to bring any rain. It's just going to bring a reinforcing shot of cooler weather. You'll feel it in the mornings, but the afternoons are just going to be glorious. Today, 0% chance you're going to need your Green and Phillips umbrella. That continues through the work week. Just make sure that you have the sunglasses because I promise you're going to need them. We're going to go with the daytime high today of 70 degrees in Mobile, 70 degrees in Gulf Shores, 73 degrees in Pensacola. If you're along and south of I-10, temperatures mainly going to be in the lower 70s, middle to upper 60s, the farther inland that you travel. No matter where you are, temperatures very close to where they should be for this time of year and just going to be downright comfortable. At Pensacola International Airport, it's currently 71 degrees. We have a north breeze at 11 miles per hour. The dew point temperature is at 35. If you were wearing fleece this morning, I bet you had some static electricity. At the Gulf Quest Maritime Museum in downtown Mobile, the active waterfront from the Mobile River looking absolutely lovely. 67 degrees with the north breeze at 14 miles per hour. And our comfort cast over the next seven days, the humidity, it is very low and it is very dry outside. And that reinf reinforcing shot of cooler air will bring even drier air for the, for, for the forecast tomorrow. But then our moisture levels will begin to moderate as we head towards the end of the week into the upcoming weekend. Our rain chances look like they're going to be staying pretty low, but that'll have an effect on our temperatures where we'll see a gradual warming trend this weekend where we're going to be back in the lower to middle 70s on your Friday and then more so middle to upper 70s for Saturday and Sunday. And then middle 70s again on Monday and on Monday with that slightly higher humidity, we might see one or two showers as a front will be moving into our neighborhood. As for this evening with that reinforcing shot of cooler air, it is going to be another chilly night. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s through the afternoon by 10 o'clock. Temperatures in the middle 50s, maybe a nice evening to take a walk on the beach tonight. And then for tonight, as we get into the overnight hours, temperatures will be falling into the lower middle 40s. And like we saw this morning, would not be surprised if we see a few spots in the middle and upper 30s north of I-10. Going to be clear and chilly, but going to be a starry night and really is going to be quite pretty. Just make sure that you have that extra layer on later tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. We'll be in the upper 60s for your Wednesday and Thursday, and those temperatures again will slowly be moderating for the end of the week. We'll be in the middle 50s for overnight lows as we go from Friday into Saturday. Daytime highs in the upper 70s by Sunday and just a very small 10% chance.